or some had also got there on the strings. Okay. And the bow was more or less like looking like this, and the sound playing position was a little like here between your legs, and it was dance instrument, so it was mostly dance music, so... And the very special uh, technique here is that you press the string mm. by with the nail side of your finger. Yeah. And the older older instruments they had very small hole here, so they were really able to play only one string. But nowadays, these contemporary instruments you can have like. A Can you read the last string? No, with this instrument, no. Okay. But uh, we have here also another instrument, which is huh? the shape is reminding uh, its close, re close relation in Estonian ones, which had this like bigger hole here, okay. a little different structure. But this is combination of quite many different uh, approaches. Yeah, styles. Styles, yeah, because uh, in Estonia they were making the sides from the different wood and the bottom and the top. But this is made in Karelian type from one wood and then top here. And the top is like you can see it's carved. Oh. It's, yeah, not, okay. it's not flat. And by the way, this is made by myself oh. in the okay. guidance of the Master Luthier. Where I tried all the things, but we have been planning many years. That very, very, it's very thin top, and also the bo bottom, yeah. and the carved top is also a specialty, and also the well, there's like four, there's four, four strings, like in the Estonian instruments. Um, the Finnish instruments had many times two or three strings, but okay. okay. Now we have here gut strings, and the tuning is. I would say it's a fusion of Karelian and Estonian tuning. <laughs> I see. And and you've been you've been barking at that tree for for many years now and you embarked in this in this doctoral studies adventure. And yeah. you want to speak a little bit about that? Yeah, I started I started whole PhD like thinking that I have a hobby in my life. <laughs> and <laughs> my okay. studying beside beside my freelance musician work. I was quite lots of doing like double bass gigs in world and folk music things on that time still. And originally my PhD plan had it, it included uh, a double bass playing and play, uh, playing double bass in a more like basso continuo or like baroque style mm. and combining the elements of uh, baroque accompaniment to the folk music world because uh, the convention of folk music accompaniment was from the popular music of mm -hmm. the last part of the 20th century but the music from, was from 18th century so it made sense to have this uh, elements from early music also in double bass and then I was learning uh, the uh, double bass viol or G by viol, viol, viol like it's called and then Joik was only the third one third of the whole whole original PhD plan oh I see but but I think 
uh, it quite 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 fastly it narrowed down to Yohiko. That mm. I I would concentrate on that more. Well, only now it's only Yohiko. And I guess it has directed my thoughts also that there, well, there has been periods that I've been more, again, I, I been still have been double bass player, like mostly double bass player, but still like I would say that I would say that my work is nowadays 75% at least or 80% uh, with Yohiko. Mm. 